What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Weller Special Reserve. The Weller Special Reserve is the entry-level bourbon of the WL Weather line. This is a weeded bourbon and the labeling is stating that this is the original weeded bourbon. The Weller lineup consists of the Weller Special Reserve, Antique 107, 12 Year, the Create Your Perfect Bourbon, and the Full Proof. The Weller Special Reserve is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that is distilled at Buffalo Trace Distillery. This is a non-age stated whiskey that is thought to be around 7 years old. It has an undisclosed weeded mash bill a 45% ABV, 90 proof, and an MSRP on this is around $25 to $30. And the availability on this one is not that great. Some places have it, some places don't. And back to the mash bill, Buffalo Trace only carries one weeded mash bill, so this does carry the same mash bill as your William LaRue Weller and your Pappy Van Winkle. But in saying that, it's about warehouse and rickhouse location. This is not resting with the same barrels as your Pappy Van Winkle and your William LaRue Weller, and that means all the difference in the world. That being said, let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one, guys, is a little bit different. To me, this kind of resembles a bowling pin. It does have a cap. I'm not sure about the new bottlings on the Special Reserve, but I do know that the Antique and the Full Proof, of course, are definitely going to, to corks, but this is a cap and it does have W on top of the cap. Along the stem of the neck right here on the top, it does say Weller, it says Weller across the front. Of course, it has a W right here at the top, and it does say the original weeded bourbon. I really don't know who, tr how true that is. I don't know if anyone does. And on the back, it does have a little bit of a backstory about W.L. Weller, W.L. being William LaRue Weller. Kind of a different bottling. It definitely would stand out on the shelves if you could find it there. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, check out the color. The color on this one is a light bronze color, a light bronze hue to the whiskey. I am going to coat the glass just to see how viscous and oily it is, see how well it cleans the glass. And it is clinging to the glass very nicely. It is seems to be nice and viscous. It's not super viscous because the legs are extremely thick and they are running quickly. A real super oily and viscous whiskey. The legs are a little bit thicker and they are running a little bit slower. You can see already how these are thinned out, but it is coating the glass very well for 90 proof bourbon whiskey. With that being said, let's get into the nose. Right away, I'm getting vanillas and caramels. Big vanilla caramel notes. A little bit of honey. Maybe a little bit of brown sugar also. And a little bit of an apple and oak note on the nose. Very friendly and approachable nose. Very light and approachable, I should say. It's definitely not jumping out of the glass. Very easily approached. Mainly though, vanillas and caramels, maybe a little bit of brown sugar. And it is sweet, very sweet nose on the whiskey, which is typical of your weeded bourbons. And very approachable. Once again on the nose, I'm getting a nice vanilla caramel, which is dominant, a little bit of brown sugar and honey, a little bit of an apple scent to the whiskey, and a nice, well-rounded oak note. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. It's got a creamy, velvety mouthfeel, not super viscous and oily on the palate. I would say it's medium finish. And the first sip is just mainly vanilla. Vanilla, a little bit of barrel spice and oak on the finish of the first sip. 
Decent first sip, very light and friendly and approachable. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Very friendly and approachable and very sweet. It's vanillas and caramels. Does it seem to be a little more viscous on the second sip now that my palate has become a little more acclimated to the whiskey. And it's just vanilla and caramel, a little bit of barrel spice on the finish and a little bit of oak. I was finished is still middle, middle of the row. And as far as, I think this would be a great entry level bourbon or beginner's whiskey if you could just find it. Very approachable, very easy sipper, and it is tasty. It's, it's definitely tasty. Nothing over complex or super complex about, about it. Just a nice, tasty sipper. Let's go in for a third sip. Cheers. Third sip, very consistent. With the second sip, it's vanillas, caramels, a little bit of barrel spice on the finish, and oak. There's nothing really complex about this. It's just a good, simple sipper that is very approachable. I would say the nose had a lot more going on than the taste, but as far as the taste goes, it is definitely a nice, enjoyable pour. With that being said, let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Weller Special Reserve. Guys, I think it is a decent, solid pour of bourbon for around the $25 price range. It is super allocated and hard to find, and the secondary pricing on this can get astronomical. I think standard secondary pricing is around 40 bucks, and I, I would hesitate pulling the trigger on 40 bucks. I think around 25 is a good price and a good solid purchase, and I have seen prices upwards of $100 on this bottling, I would definitely wouldn't suggest paying any ridiculous price for that. I think around $25 is a good solid price for this and I would pick it up again for $25. Once again, just the availability of it, it's a very hard find thing to find on the shelves for 25 bucks. But for 25 bucks, I think it's a good solid pour of bourbon whiskey. Nothing that's gonna blow your mind and I think it would be a great beginner's whiskey if it was just available. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.